Just a moment ago, a startling surprise hit the internet. Could Elvis Presley, the iconic music legend, be alive and hiding as Pastor Bob Joyce? Fans are intrigued by his cheekbones and unusual habit of scratching his left ear. Are these similarities just coincidences, or is there anything more going on? Let's go into this enigma, reveal the mysteries, and discover the stunning reality. The Strange Life of a Rock and Roll Legend Imagine if Elvis Presley, one of music's greatest icons, did not actually die. What if he returned as a peaceful pastor named Bob Joyce? This idea may seem strange, yet it has piqued the imagination of many individuals. Then one day, an FBI dossier titled Project Blue Suede was discovered, implying that Pastor Bob could truly be Elvis, hidden in plain sight. People have noted that Pastor Bob resembles Elvis. Both have high cheekbones, a strong chin, and their eyebrows arch in the same direction. Some individuals wonder if these parallels are due to more than chance. It's not simply how they appear. There are videos online of Elvis and Pastor Bob scratching their left ears in the same way. People have become intrigued by this seemingly insignificant habit. Could this be a coincidence, or is there more to it? Fans are attentively monitoring the preacher for more clues. Both males have the same height, shoe size, and body shape. With so many minor nuances to consider, it's understandable why people are fascinated. Could two separate persons truly have all of these characteristics, or is there something else going on? Their voices are also something that others cannot ignore. Elvis had a strong, soulful voice and a pleasant southern accent. Pastor Bob's voice sounds very similar to his own. Whether he's speaking or singing, his tone is reminiscent of Elvis, particularly when he sings gospel music. Pastor Bob's singing in church has also gotten people's attention. Listeners cannot not but remark how similar he sounds like Elvis. Some have even done side-by-side -side voice comparisons, and the similarities are obvious. Is this a coincidence? Or may Elvis's voice still be heard today through Pastor Bob Joyce? The more people investigate this subject, the more curious they get. Fans are always pointing out new similarities and creating connections. Some believe it's all just a bizarre coincidence. Others believe Elvis never left us and is now Pastor Bob Joyce. But the mystery deepens. Could the truth be in front of us? Bob Joyce and Elvis have distinctive features. One of the most prominent features are their hands. Both have huge hands and long, slender fingers. These aren't regular hands. They strummed guitars, waved to fans, and expressed emotions in ways that Elvis fans are accustomed with. When Pastor Bob gestures while preaching, some people compare it to how Elvis moved on stage. People think about more than just their appearance. People close to Pastor Bob frequently mention his kind and gentle personality, similar to how Elvis was described. Even though Elvis was a tremendous celebrity, he was known for being humble and friendly to his followers. Similarly, Pastor Bob is recognized for his warm and welcoming demeanor, which makes those around him feel welcome. Two men, connected by comedy and music, begin to share more than simply commonalities. There's a lighter aspect to both Elvis and Pastor Bob. Pastor Bob has a biting sense of humor, much like Elvis did in interviews and on stage. Even their movement patterns are identical. When Pastor Bob walks or gestures while speaking, it's clear that he resembles Elvis. Are they simply coincidences or do they represent anything more? People are beginning to assume there is a deeper relationship between the two. Some believe Elvis lives on in Pastor Bob, either in spirit or in another way. One element that strengthens this notion is their mutual love of music. Elvis adored his guitar, and Pastor Bob also played. People have noticed that Pastor Bob utilizes guitars similar to those Elvis used. And it's not just the appearance. Pastor Bob's playing style feels familiar. His style is reminiscent of Elvis's legendary performances. But it's more than just playing the guitar. It's the emotion behind the music. Elvis poured his heart into his performances, particularly while singing gospel tunes. Pastor Bob does the same. 
he utilizes his guitar to communicate his religion, frequently focusing on spiritual music at his church. The shared love of gospel music makes the connection even more difficult to ignore. So, is this a coincidence, or is there more to it? If you enjoy our video, click on Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just donation, it is a blessing to support a transformative journey of Jesus. Perhaps it's just two males who have a passion for music and a similar style. Perhaps Elvis's spirit lives on via Pastor Bob's songs and gestures. One thing is certain, these commonalities keep people thinking there's more to the story. Elvis initially had a little gap between his front teeth. Some thought it made him more appealing, but he wanted to make it more polished. He employed dental caps to fill the gap. This minor modification demonstrated his desire to appear flawless in public. Years later, many noticed that Pastor Bob's teeth were quite similar to Elvis's following the dental procedure. His teeth's form and gloss seem to fit perfectly. Some believe it is too close to be random. To them, the similar teeth are more than a coincidence. They may be proof. Pastor Bob's teeth arrived approximately four years after Elvis was reported to have died in 1977. This raises the question of whether Elvis pretended to die in order to avoid fame. For believers, the teeth are more than simply a comical resemblance. They are proof that Elvis abandoned his old life and became Pastor Joyce. As doubts and beliefs blend, the past and present blur in surprising ways. A pastor's secret Elvis was born in 1935, whereas Pastor Joyce was born in 1952. That's a 17-year discrepancy, which makes it difficult for some to believe they're the same individual. For critics, the age gap is a huge issue that casts question on the entire argument. They say that hiding one's age or pretending to be younger is simply unrealistic. Despite the significant age gap, those who believe in the hypothesis have their own theories. They claim that the physical and personality parallels between Elvis and Pastor Joyce are simply too striking to ignore. Some speculate that Elvis may have altered his documents or undergone cosmetic procedures to conceal his true age and assume a new persona. After all, the entertainment industry is notorious for producing illusions, so it's not implausible that he discovered a means to rewrite his own story. But that isn't the strangest thing. What really hooks believers is how much Pastor Joyce and Elvis appear to act alike. Supporters of the theory claim that their voices are remarkably similar and they have the same calm and welcoming demeanor. They claim that the way Pastor Joyce speaks and conducts is similar to how Elvis would have acted if he had found peace and chosen a quieter life. They understand why someone as famous as Elvis would want to leave the craziness of fame and live a simple life as a pastor. This theory has generated a great deal of controversy. On one side, Believers believe that Elvis and Pastor Joyce are the same person because of their dental resemblance and matching characteristics. Skeptics, on the other hand, believe that the 17-year age difference is a deal-breaker. They find it impossible to believe that Elvis could fake his death and live under a new identity. Even those who question the hypothesis concede that it's an intriguing story that makes people wonder how much they truly know about their favorite celebs. And here's where things become really tricky. Fans have always been passionate, occasionally blurring the distinction between appreciation and obsession. The possibility that Elvis evaded stardom and is still alive reflects the idea that even the biggest performers may want a second chance at life. Supporters of the notion say that if anyone can carry off such a drastic transformation, it is him. They assume that after years of strain, he may have decided to start again and enjoy a calm life away from the spotlight. But what if it's more than just evidence? Some believers feel the story extends beyond the facts. It's about holding out hope that Elvis didn't vanish forever. Whether or not the theory is correct, it provides a consoling thought. Perhaps he discovered happiness and freedom in unexpected ways. Even skeptics can't deny that this hypothesis piques people's interest because it's more than simply a mystery. It's about believing in the potential of another opportunity. This entire discussion has resulted in a seemingly endless conversation. 
People enjoy debating if Elvis truly became Pastor Joyce or if it was all a wild story. The truth may never be revealed, but that's part of what makes the theory so intriguing. As long as they believe he is still alive, the prospect of his survival will pique their interest. Whether people are convinced or simply entertained, this narrative demonstrates how much we enjoy riddles, especially those that allow us to keep the memory of our idols alive. Deeper examination reveals additional links, making a strange notion appear plausible. The gospel according to Elvis? And it is what keeps this theory alive. For believers, it's more than just making a point. It's about revitalizing his spirit in a fresh way. Even if Pastor Joyce isn't Elvis, the possibility that he is offers fans something unique, a chance to think that their favorite star didn't vanish, but instead found peace. Finally, hope may be the real reason this theory persists. Could Elvis really pull off such a massive trick, or is the age gap evidence that this is merely an entertaining story? The truth depends on who you ask. Many individuals believe that the timeline of Pastor Joyce's career provides a clue. According to public records, he began preaching in 1981, just four years after Elvis died in 1977. For some, the timing seems too perfect to be a coincidence. Fans of the notion claim that Elvis, one of the world's most famous persons, may have staged his death to avoid the stress and pressures of being a superstar. The idea is that he eventually returned as a quiet preacher, far removed from the spotlight. People who enjoy these types of mysteries say Pastor Joyce's appearance not long after Elvis's death feels more than coincidence. They believe it aligns with his desire for a calm, peaceful life away from the fame that accompanied him throughout his career. If this idea is correct, being a pastor would have been an excellent opportunity for him to live the life he had always desired. It is well known that gospel music was very important to him, and as Pastor Joyce, he could continue to share music in a new way. Instead of being a superstar performing in front of large crowds, he might sing at church, helping people in a smaller, more personal setting. Fans of this hypothesis find it difficult to accept that Pastor Joyce's rise to prominence so soon after Elvis's death was really a coincidence. They believe it all fits together too well. He leaves from the public glare, only to reappear a few years later as a preacher living a humble lifestyle. But what truly piques people's interest isn't simply the timing. It's the possibility that this was all part of a larger plan. The narrative goes that Elvis tired of being famous, discovered a method to live comfortably without continuously being in front of the public. If this plan is legitimate, it will allow him to focus on his faith, help others, and live a more peaceful existence. Whether you believe it or not, the timing has people wondering, did Elvis really leave us in 1977, or did he simply discover a new way to live? The similarities between Pastor Bob Joyce and Elvis only stoke the fire. Their appearances are remarkably similar, and so does their behavior. People compare their singing vocals, stating they sound extremely similar. Those who support the notion argue that these details are more than just coincidences. They perceive them as jigsaw pieces, with everything fitting together in an almost flawless way that they can't ignore. For them, it's more than simply a strange idea. It feels like tangible proof of a hidden reality. Consider a fresh start away from fame, where a simple life takes on new meaning. Consider how frequently superstars try to escape the pressures of fame by disappearing or establishing new identities. We have seen it before. It makes you wonder, could he have done the same thing? It may seem far-fetched, but for some individuals, the concept that he found peace by becoming Pastor Bob makes sense. After all, he was recognized for his devotion to gospel music and spirituality. Perhaps becoming a pastor wasn't a coincidence, but rather a logical choice for someone like him seeking greater meaning in his life. One reason this hypothesis is interesting is that it provides a different ending to his story. One in which he does not die young, but instead chooses to live quietly and happily. It offers people hope that instead of becoming another terrible celebrity story, he found a way to escape and start a new life for himself. 
The thought of him living happily as Pastor Bob makes supporters believe that the King of Rock is still among us, although in a new role. However, not everyone is convinced. Some others believe that the entire idea is a wild delusion. They maintain that any resemblances between him and Pastor Bob are entirely accidental. Skeptics argue that visual features and personality traits alone are insufficient to back up such a bold claim. They also emphasize how difficult it would have been for him to stage his death and keep it a secret for all these years. According to them, the concept that he is Pastor Bob is just wishful thinking, a creative fiction that falls apart when examined more closely. However, for some, this notion is too intriguing to dismiss. It provides a more positive alternative to his sad finish. If he had faked his death and found peace as a pastor, it would imply that he avoided the pressures that frequently wreck the lives of renowned individuals. Fans that embrace the notion like to suppose that instead of being lost forever, he discovered a way to start over and live the life he always desired. However, this is not the only reason individuals hang on to the belief. Many people find it difficult to understand that someone as great as he could simply disappear forever. People are comforted by the possibility that he is still alive, albeit under a different name. It's the kind of narrative that makes you wonder about second chances. What if he truly discovered his second opportunity as Pastor Bob? What do you think? Is Elvis living as Pastor Bob, or is this just wishful thinking? Comment, like, and subscribe to participate in the conversation and keep the legend alive. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation. It is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus.